and let's go. What's up, party people? Today, I'm going to be dyeing my shoe, well, coloring, well, painting. I have no experience. <laughs> I've actually just watched a few tutorials online on YouTube, actually. Hey, shout out to YouTube. Hey, this, this video is to motivate you guys. Blah. These are some old shoes. They were actually hand-me-downs. I don't like the reflective silvery thing, so you know, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna make it look dope. Here are my materials. And I got bubble wrap. Let's go. 2,000 years later. How does it perform while wearing it? I wore it around for the night after letting it dry for an hour just to see if it could handle being walked slash run in. There was some rain to that night. It been through a little sprinkle and some wet ground. I didn't hit it with any acrylic finisher because the back label of the paint said that once it dries it already is some water slash stain resistance to it. And I wanted to show you guys really how strong that is straight out of the jar, straight out of the jar. I am really satisfied with its performance on the upper part of the shoe. It got a bit rough on the very edges of the leather by the stitching, but the insides remain full and clean. The damage is significantly noticeable. So I would definitely recommend applying acrylic finisher to the upper and bottom edge of the sole lace at least, if not the whole paint job. After all, the sole lace are rubber, and the paint I used was for leather. 